Hey, what's up, Seders? And I think you have noticed the changes to my channel. Yes, I'm going to be called Shadow Rainbow from now on. What's the reason why I changed the name? That is because I'm getting a lot of traction now. Well, not a lot of traction, just a few people are interested in what I do now. So they were like, hey, Sean, Lance, what's your YouTube channel? And I say Shadow uh, Vertigo like that sometimes i cringe sometimes i stutter sometimes i just pause and look blankly into space like that so the problem here is the vertigo part of my youtube channel's name it's because i normally associate vertigo with um nausea dizziness or vomiting so it doesn't really sound that nice to me now does it but why do i have vertigo in the first place i'm the one who put it there so it's my fault well, I think I've talked about this in one of my previous videos. Shadow comes from the Persona 4 game, you know. Um, shadows is are the true selves. And that's what I want my channel to be. It's a projection. It's an embodiment. Okay, let's call it a symbol. Yeah, whatever. It's just where... I can be me, I can be nerdy, I can be goofy, I can be annoying to my heart's content. I want my channel to represent the real me. The me that I don't normally show publicly. You know, you're gonna meet a stranger, you don't show your true self. You show a more presentable self, a more refined, a more behaved a more sophisticated self. So yeah, here in this channel, I just want it to be shits and giggles, um, things that interest me, things that I find funny, scary, spooky. Uh, scary and spooky are the same thing. Wacky, interesting, interesting, fascinating. But what's up with a vertigo? I don't know. I ran out of words. Vertigo just rhymes with shadow, and I took on the rule that Something that rhymes is easy to remember. I want people to remember my channel very easily because it rhymes, but it sounds gross. Vertigo for me sounds gross. Well, not actually gross, it's just, it's not fun. Have you experienced vertigo? So to save myself from stuttering, cringing, and looking like a fool while trying to introduce my channel, I changed it to rainbow because rainbow also rhymes with shadow i still want to go with that marketing tactic yeah it sounds so natural now it sounds so sweet it sounds so smooth like honey hey what's your channel oh it's shadow rainbow you should really check it out i make a lot of great contents in there see it's natural shadow rainbow nice ain't it plus i made this sick ass logo that you can see on my channel now and the cover art Mwah. I love it. In case you were wondering where I made that, it's DotPict. It's a Android app. You can make a lot of great, um, what do you call this, 8-bit art in there. It's a great tool for that. Really simple. Really gets the job done. And I really like my logo now. Or profile picture. Channel picture. I don't know what it's called. It's just there. The, f the face of my channel. Yeah, it's uh, a, a rainbow void thing. Really describes my name. It's a rainbow with, with a square void in the middle. Shadow rainbow. Nice, ain't it? Nice. Oh yeah, another thing I'm going to address before we get on with this video. It's that I'm guessing a few days from now or yesterday for me in real time, I got laid off from work. So, you're gonna notice a lot of videos being uploaded. That is because I don't have a work anymore. It's hard for me financially because I got bills to pay. But let's look on the bright side. At least I have more time for uploading videos while I hunt for a job, a new one. But there is still this impending doom of me not being able to keep up with my bills <laughs> or to satisfy my luxurious lifestyle but i'll worry about that once i cross that bridge or once i'm dying out of starvation with that being said 
Welcome to Three Scary Games. Our first game for today is called Dark Hotel. Start game, please. Oh, bloody VHS for eyes. That's new. I kind of like the graphics though. It's nice. Um, but whoa, whoa, whoa there. Now this is vertigo. <laughs> What's up with horror games and very high sensitivity? Mouse sensitivity. Ooh, granite. Cool. Granite. Ma, uh, ma not, not mouse. Oh, Mike, get out of my face. You're too close. I can't touch the keyboard. So um, what do I do in here? Ooh, there's something in there. Can I crutch? I can. Crutch, crutch. Ah. Picture. Okay, it's like um, what they call this Resident Evil. Okay, what can I click in here? It's locked. Can I hide in the closet? The mouse sensitivity in this thing is <laughs> nauseating. It sort of reminds me of that um, game, um, the really cool one about you being trapped in a hotel and there's a maniac after you. I forgot the name of that. Oh, I saw. I saw. I saw a hand icon appear here. It's locked. I'm already trapped in my room. Um, can I, is there a key in here? Key. Nothing. Seriously? Hello? Oh, back room. They're unlocked now. Cool. Occupado. The bathroom is occupied, my good sir. Okay, um, can I, can I hide in here? Am I safe in here? Someone's knocking at my door. I really don't know what's going on. Hello? Hello? Oh no. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> I accidentally pressed Q and that happens. Oh crap. Oh, there's blood. There's candles. Ooh, spooky. And also kind of romantic. Okay. It's still locked though. So, what do you. I'm just going to pretend that I didn't see that. I didn't know Lady Demetrisk was coming here. I could have prepared myself a bit better for the lovely tall lady. But no, no, no. I'm just going to stay here. She's still there. Oh, my. Oh, boy. Oh boy, you're not gonna chase after me, are you, Lady Dimitrescu? It's locked. I think I know where this is going. The game wants me to confront it and it's gonna give me a jump scare and then it's gonna say thanks for playing, right? Wow, you're very, very tall. Hello? I... I thought I was dead. Uh, but there is a key. Huh? Key. Uh, picture. That's one big ass key. Six. Uh, should I remember six? What happened on this? Oh! oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Lady Demetrescu, you shouldn't 
be sneaking around for a very tall lady. It's freaky. I'm guessing I should go here because there's a door there and I just got a key. Let's try opening it. I... Yeah. Budget Lady Demetresk, is there something wrong with your foot? Aha. Uh Aha. -huh. Uh -huh. Yes. Very likely. I don't want to go to the basement. I can't run. Um, dude. I can't run. Okay, the mouse sensitivity is making me dizzy. I don't want to go to the basement. Uh, attic. What the heck? And I don't want to go to the hallway. It's so far and I can only walk two inches from one foot to another. I'm just gonna go to the basement. Hopefully there's no monsters in here. Lady Dimitrescu? Or... Oh, there's a computer over there. Should I interact with that thing? Seriously, what's up with the slow walking? What the? What happened to the stairs? What happened to the stable? Oh, it's a glass thing. Ah, dark ominous hallway. Oh, there's nothing in here. There's nothing in here. It's just complete darkness. Okay. I guess interact with the computer. Hello? Um, yes? <laughs> Spooky! Spooky is red! I didn't thought a cheap jump scare would get me. But still, I got startled. And that is what's really important in this horror games. You know, to get spooky, to be frightened, to be startled, to be unsettled, disturbed. Blood, body, blood, body. Okay, sure thing. Who's that? Okay. You want me to go back into my room? With a dead body? Is there a dead body in the closet? In the bed? Is it trying to tell me something? Yeah, what's the story here? Am I being chased by a giant monster lady? thing is open. Oh, a body. Ah, uh, uh, okay. Okay, a bloody couch. Are you open? No. No. This is my room. There's nothing in there anymore. And the stairs have all gone away. What the? Why is there a candle over here? Candelabra? <laughs> oh, hi! Hello!
Ah, uh, <laughs> okay. I wasn't expecting the monster to come charging at me and not kill me. So what's oh cutscene? Do I need to find more keys? Okay, three more keys. I'm not gonna go to the bloodied floor. Okay, sure thing. Three more keys, three more. Are there more keys in here? I think it's a code. Six, six, six. The number of the beast. Or do I need to go to room six, six? Are there keys in here? Key, key, key. I don't think so. I think I should go to the attic. Why is it so dark in here? Oh, there's nothing in here. Okay. Just complete darkness up here. Okay. Hi. Where am I supposed to find those extra keys? To the bloodied floor? But mommy, I don't want to go to the bloodied floor. Flickering lights. Is that a clue? Do you have a key inside of you? Ah, there, there, there. One of them is turned off. Do you have a key? Key, a key, a key. There's no keys. Can I drop down here? I don't want to drop. I could fall. There could be fall damage for all I know. Okay, red room, red room. Bodies? What the? Do you want me to jump in? Yeah, sure. Why not? I didn't realize this was going to be a spike fall. Or... Okay. Okay. Uh, what? I don't understand. Uh, sure, sure. Why not? Why not? It was a horror house experience, and it did accomplish what it set out to do, give us a fright, and I'll take that as a win. Moving on to the next game. I came home tonight, but my wife was silent. This is the second game. It's called, I came home tonight. Ah, okay. Oh, it's a point and click game, cool. I don't want to go up there, but I'm not sure why. Ooh, spooky. Oh, oh, those are the stairs. I thought that was a door. Wipe, my lovely wife. Is she angry because I left? Yo, dear, what's wrong? Why won't she talk to me? I don't know. But my wife was with another man. Oh, infidelity! Who's this man? I don't remember this being here before. What? Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Then what? Can I interact with a dude? How dare you sleep with my wife? 
Look at him sitting in my chair. I could smell his perfume. Uh -huh. Dear wife, what is the meaning of this? Fall down, ye bastard! How dare you hug my wife in front of me? Am I a joke to her? I came home tonight, but there were strangers in my house. Oh, how dare they? Ah, oh, strangers! Who are they? I don't know. I think you may have guessed it. I'm a ghost. I'm dead. My wife was not cheating on me. She was with another man uh, who is her legal husband. And I'm white. Pale white. Super white. Just take a look. So am I a poltergeist now? Okay. So, is that a dildo? Oh god. On the fireplace too! Um, what can I interact with? I just killed a man. What have I done? You just killed a dude, dude! I know you were angry about being dead. I came home tonight. But my house was empty. It felt so cold. Matches. Who left matches here? I don't know. So cold. Matches. Wood. Wait, I'm a ghost. How can I feel cold? Much better. It feels like home again. When you were alive. I came home tonight. There was no house. But my house was not there. See? No house. It was just the woods. I don't think this is the way. What are you talking about? I'm a Mandalorian. I know the way. Did I take a wrong turn somewhere? Uh, I can see the foundation of your house. Yep, that's your house. Dude, you're just dead. Gravestone. Cool. In loving memory, Henry Edwards, home at last. That's you. That's you. Right? I left home today. Ah, and just kept walking. Are you gonna move on? Are we going to find the light? Because I didn't have anywhere to be. Kind of sad. But we all must move on. Very atmospheric. Oh, a cat! Kitty! Hey little guy, what are you looking at? Wow, what a nice view. I thought it was going to be some dystopian future. Nah, we found the light. Maybe I'll stay here a while. You do you, buddy. You do you. 
That was nice. That was nice. That was actually very nice. A nice little experience. For more games, please visit um, Black Void Media. Okay. Cool, cool. This is going to exit the game. Yep, it exited the game. Okay, let's check out if I could do anything in here. No? I can't do anything else? Is your body in there? I guess. Okay, okay, that's all she wrote. This is a nice little game here. Check it out if you want. I'm going to leave a link in the description below. Go! Go support your indie developers. Go check out their games. Go buy them if you have the money. If you don't, just check it out. Give a nice comment. They deserve it. With that being said, let's move on now to the next game. So this is the last game, it's called Under Start. Wear your headphones for best experience. Sure. Already on it. Ah, where are we? Underground? In the trenches? Ah! World War One was it? 1940. Okay, am I a soldier? Am I going to experience the horrors of war? Can I take my gun? Where is everyone? I don't know. I have a flashlight. That's cool. Okay. Flashlight. Flashlight. Okay. I can't unequip that. Ah, oh, gun. Can I take my gun? Please. That's not a good sign. There's blood on the floor. Well, why is there only blood here and there, but not the entire floor over here? If I remember correctly, blood splashes everywhere, not just spots. Can I go up? I must check the ground floor first. Okay, sure. Can I run? No, I can't. Oh, I can. Run for a bit. Can I take the gun? Something is written on the gun. Uh, there's supposed to be a way where my comrades go. Use it. But how can I open it? I don't know. Is the gun? There a key in here, a key, a box, a gun. We have guns. Use it like a crowbar or something. Okay. Yeah, sure, sure. What's up with the patches of blood over here? I don't know. This war does not determine who is right, only who is left. Okay. A note. 
Um, this is strange. The sounds of guns firing and people yelling have been replaced by silence. There is something wrong. It just became quiet. And um, what just happened? Did we win? Is it over? How should I know? You were knocked unconscious and I was just dropped here. I don't like the sound of that. What was that? Yeah. Why are there helmets here? Hmm. Strange. Very strange indeed. Hello? Dark ominous hallway? Be, be prepared to run. Shit. I am not alone here. And I should have taken the gun. Okay, what was that? There were a lot of guns in the other area. Why didn't I take those, huh? You know, to defend myself with. But no. But no, I just took the flashlight. Oh, fuck! Hello there! Hi! What was that? Um. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm not gonna say that was weird like uh, I just saw a monster Right Dude, you're not gonna say anything Okay War is just a massacre of people who don't know each other Yeah, pretty much But uh, I'm not talking about um, war proverbs here. What about that? Uh, the thing that I saw we just saw you saw that right? Loading in. Bombs. What am I gonna do with a bomb? I need a crowbar or a key or something. Oh, oh hi hello hey ah uh, you're ugly where am I okay was I supposed to run for my life uh sure I don't want to know. I don't want to know, buddy. I don't want to know. Don't stop. 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 Just don't. 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 I'm not gonna stop. I'm not gonna look behind me. I don't want to die because I'm gonna repeat this level again and I don't want that that's the scariest part of this game oh hi hello stop appearing out of nowhere some one of you is already chasing me I don't need two of you to distract me um I got stuck, seriously. Oh my god, that's it's okay. Um, where do I go? 
Um, what? Um, there's nothing in here. I can jump. Hey, come here, buddy. Come here, come here. Dude, 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 dude. Come here. No, oh, seriously, where am I supposed to go? I have a bomb, so... Please don't have fall damage! escape right I escape comrade wake up comrade whoa 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 what's going on huh where am I I was just dreaming what are you saying you got unconscious look we are winning winning okay sure yes the enemies are retreating let's go I'm excited to go home and see my wife uh, sure thing, comrade. Um, uh, tick, 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 tick. Comrade, no! Whoa, 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 what happened? Did he die? Did he die? Only the dead have seen the end of the war, of course. Plato, of course. Under. So, it was all just a dream, and my comrade died. Okay. I don't know how to feel about that. Um, it was spooky, yes. Uh, it was something profound as in the horrors of war. And the monsters are really spooky as well because they were like chicken naked people. But um, the thing that broke it for me is the fact that I <laughs> could cheat my way out. <laughs> I fell from the tippy top all the way to the down and escaped the clutches of the monster. <laughs> that was silly. But anyway, that was fun, and there you have it. Those are three scary games. I hope you enjoyed it, and like always, if you want more content like this, give me subs, give me likes, and give the bell a ring the nuts, and I'll see you saters in my next video. Signing up, catch you later.